Location, location, location. Italy is known for having some of the best food in the entire world, and I am having the best mussels I have ever had in a small town a little south of Rome called Ostia. Tonight is the first Saturday night of the 65th annual Cannes Film Festival. Music blasts and bumps from boats, the beach, and everywhere else in between. People lucky enough to have invitations might not enjoy too much more than everyone else. If I've learned anything from being here, if there's a will, there certainly will be a way in. I'm here on our pseudo red carpet, hoping next year for these two to be the real red carpet, Abbas and Medina. Hi guys, thanks for joining us. Hello. Nice, known for its glorious view of the Mediterranean Sea, is lacking one crucial element, a smooth and sandy beach. For those who do not find the large rocks therapeutic, they may still be able to enjoy a hot afternoon with the right equipment, like an air mattress. If that's not an option, one of the many private beach clubs may be. After all, what's not to enjoy about a glass of French wine on the beautiful French Riviera? Hello everyone, I'm Raquel Solano for Fox News. President Obama holding a town hall style meeting on health care today in Montana. The president criticizing the media for showing angry protesters and not enough of the constructive meetings that have been going on. Mr. Obama adding that while Montana has bears, moose and elk, he joked that Washington mostly just has bull. Meanwhile, people are worried about health care flooding members of Congress with so many emails that they've overloaded the House website. Technical support issuing a warning to congressional staffers that the site, house.gov, may be slower on responsive because of the large volume of email being sent to members. Hundreds of firefighters are battling a wildfire that has forced about 2,400 people in California's Santa Cruz Mountains to evacuate their homes. The fire started Wednesday night. It's grown close to 3,000 acres. A down day on Wall Street to wrap up the trading week. A supplies plunge in consumer sentiment is what's being blamed for sending stocks lower. The Dow ending the day off almost 77 points. The Nasdaq down 23 and the S&P 500 falling almost 9. And Les Paul has died. The guitarist and inventor changed the course of music with the electric guitar and multi-track recording. He also had a string of hits, many with wife Mary Ford. Les Paul was 94 years old. More headlines in an hour. I'm Raquel Solano. Welcome to Red Eye. It's like the Incredible Hulk, if by Hulk you mean stench. Let's go to TV's Andy Levy for our pregame report. Andy, what's coming up on tonight's show? <laughs> oh, that's kind of adorable. Uh, <laughs> try it again with some more. <laughs> It's mail time. The address is redeye at foxnews.com. You write, I read. Then I run you over with a dune buggy made of fire. Here we go. Joseph from New Zealand leads things off. Could you please advise me why we can no longer see Red Eye here on Sky Television? Joseph, bad news. The entire United States was obliterated by a searing rain of giant meteors. The messages you're getting from me now was actually recorded moments before the devastation and was sent out before all perished. So if you're hearing this message, it means we are all dead. Also, New Zealand is the next Hydra Koalas. Actually, here's what I don't get. If you're not getting red eye in New Zealand anymore, how are you going to hear me answer your letter? Sorry, I love you uh, people, but you just make me crazy. <laughs> uh, one more for the road. Yes. <laughs> one more for the road. Yes. Time to go back to TV's dreamy Andy Levy for the post-game wrap-up. <laughs> uh, oh, nicely done. Uh, where is our intern, Raquel? Marvelous, Bravo. marvelous job. Oh, my God. So uh, how do you like being uh, an intern here at Red Eye? Well, my job is pretty awesome. I kind of like yours a little bit more. Uh, hey. You know something funny about this mug? There's no water in it. <laughs> oh. See you later. Did I heat it up that much, Greg? <laughs> uh, uh. All right. Um, uh, he writes, uh, Raquel was awesome. Please have her on more. Maybe have her as a guest host. That would be awesome. I'm sure she has millions of fans. 
She's also on Facebook, so tell everyone to add her. Jonathan, as a matter of fact, after audition tapes and Red Eye were aired, five people actually defriended her. Anyway, since you asked, here's another snippet from her tape. When it comes to generating heat, you can't beat your meat. At least the British supermarket Tesco seems to think so and is currently sending 5,000 tons of leftover animal meat to be burned, therefore generating electricity for homes. Is that even possible? Tufts University brought to national attention what students living on campus with roommates have been dealing with for decades. This is because of a new rule that forbids sexual activity while one's roommate is present or kicking a roommate out to provide a couple with privacy. But here at Penn State, which has 12,500 undergrads living on campus, there's no explicit rule forbidding sexual activity in front of roommates in the student housing handbook. In each of these dorm halls behind me, students took the matter into their own hands. We like set boundaries for our room under what grounds you can have people over. Like you have to let everybody know if you're going to have somebody over. But I mean, I don't think any of us are really like that, that we would have anybody over without asking. That's not to say the system is perfect. My friend, like every weekend, he supposedly gets sexiled where um, his roommate basically locks the door and he can't get in. And so he, has, he told me he slept in like the commons. A ban isn't likely in the near future, either. The Penn State Housing Office typically only receives complaints regarding this once or twice a year. Some of Penn State's other rules, while not explicitly about getting sexiled, can be brought to bear if it becomes an ongoing problem. The Associate Director of Resident Life, Mark Ramaker, explains. Yeah, there's, there's some policies about um, harassment and harassment of a sexual nature, which this would fall under if, if the individual was told we don't want to, I don't want you to do this again, and it happens again, that could breach into that policy violation that we would then hold them accountable. Most students don't seem to have a problem discussing this issue on their own, but this rule is designed to protect those who have spent the night in the hallway. Reporting from University Park, I'm Raquel Solano.